What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a template and save it so that you can spend more time creating and less time setting up your project. So let's get right to it. So let's say you're a film composer and you know that you're going to need a tempo track, you're going to need a time signature track, a marker track, video track, and anything else you need as a film composer. Let's go ahead and set it up and I'm going to show you how to save it as a template. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start adding my tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and add my time signature, a tempo track. I'm going to need a marker track. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit add track. And then I'm going to need a video track. The audio usually comes in and it just adds it in right under the video, so I don't generally put it in there. But now the order is up to you how you like seeing it. The way I like seeing my track set up is I keep my markers and my time signature together and then the tempo right under that. That way when I have a project and I have my window divided just like this, I like keeping it like this because now I have my instrument and audio tracks down here and then I have my film scoring essentials up here. So again, I like my marker track here. And sometimes I don't look at the video or I have it open on a separate screen. And what I do is I actually cover both of them and I just see the signature and the marker track. So then I could see very specific sync points or things I wanna hit inside of the film. So let's say you're just happy with what you have here and you say, I wanna call this a template so that every time you open up Cubase, you don't need to repopulate these tracks. They're already there. This is how you do it. So you're gonna go to file and then you're just gonna go to where it says save as template. And just like that, you just call it whatever you want. So let's just call this film scoring. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. That's it, it's saved as a template. So now I'm gonna go ahead and quit this project and I'm gonna hit don't save because there's really nothing on here, but the template is still saved. So I'm gonna hit don't save. So I'm gonna go to where it says new project here. And if you like using hotkeys, it's just command N. So I'm gonna hit command N. It's gonna provide me with the Steinberg hub. And now here I'm gonna go to where it says more. And here I find my film scoring template. So if I click on film scoring template and then just hit create, it's gonna tell you where you want to put this in here. I'm gonna open this file and then there we have it saved exactly in the position that you last saved this template. So make sure that you save this in a way that you like. So let's say you have a couple of tracks here, you have them in folder structures or whatever the case may be. Make sure that you leave it exactly how you wanna see it when it opens back up before you save it because it's going to literally save exactly what you leave on the screen at the moment. This is a great way to save some time and just get into your creating instead of just populating these tracks and wasting the first 15 to 20 minutes putting everything that you like, all your favorite sounds. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it, so go ahead and check it out. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.